This house was built around 1892. It was built by my great-grandfather, John Putnam. This is a picture of the family that originally lived here. This is my great-grandfather and my great-grandmother, and these are all his girls. All the, and they were all, most of them were born here in this house. She ran off at 16 with an Irishman, but he was quite a, you know, he, he helped build the Empire State Building and the Brooklyn Bridge. Anyway, these women were all lived in this house, and this was their treasure, and they kept these beautiful grounds around here, and this house was built by him. And um, it's so interesting that we had somebody come from the government to help us keep this house and to keep it from becoming a mold house. These girls were all great believers in government and believers, very good patriots. We had the worst rainstorm. We had another one back a couple of years ago on Mother's Day, but this was another one. We have never been flooded in this house and everything in the cellar was floating. The water came up to about here on these steps and uh, I, I had some knee-high boots that were just high enough to come down and uh, try to get things going. So my husband was down there constantly bailing out, turning on the sump, he finally put the sump pump in, it, but everything was floating, it was, it was awful. And we were very worried about mold. Well, we didn't quite know what to do. You know, we're middle class and we try to do everything ourselves, but we were pretty overwhelmed. So we got a call, it was one of those calls that go out to everybody from the chief of police. And so I called back and his secretary answered and she said, of course, we want you to put in for this. So we did. This lovely woman came from FEMA. She assessed the damage. She made us fill out all of the forms. And within a very short time, we had money in the account. So then they called and said, have you used the money yet? And I said, no, um, I'm trying to find people to help me to do this because I'm disabled and my husband's 71 years old. I said, it's a big job. He said, oh, no, 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 we have people. You should have just asked us. I said, well, what kind of people do you have and how much will they be? He said, oh, no, these are volunteers. They're down south now, but they'll be coming that back in this direction. I said, well, that's nice. They had a dire situation. Uh, there was a lot of mold in the basement and um, a lot of trash that needed to be removed that had mold on it, like cardboard boxes, old wood, all sorts of things. So I got a call from Suzanne Short and she said, I'm, I'm in charge of this group of people, these young people that are volunteers, and we'd love to come uh, help you clean out your cellar. Because FEMA was able to give them some financial assistance, um, they were able to use that for a dumpster, and then we were able to go in and, with volunteer labor, uh, help them uh, take care of their need. They are both disabled, and so it was very rewarding to see the work that FEMA does in conjunction with our volunteer labor come together and serve the client. This was uh, cleaned out by seven outstanding students of young workers who came via FEMA and they carried everything out of the basement and we filled a 30-yard dumpster and put the things that weren't uh, lost or uh, mildewed aside and brought them back in. And they did it and in one day they cleaned out a hundred years worth of crap out of our cellar, which had been all floating around. It was wonderful.